Hello students, welcome back to the fourth video of this playlist. So in this video, uh, we will be solving question number four from the October 2024 Statistics 1, which is the most recent past paper of S1 that is available now. So uh, let's see what's the question number four from this paper is about. Okay, so you can see question number four on the screen. So let's get started with question number four. The distances and miles a motorbike travels on a full tank of petrol can be modeled by a normal distribution with what? Mean, okay, let me change the color. Okay, so normal distribution with mean 170 miles and the standard deviation is what? 16 miles, okay. So the distance that a motorbike that ran on petrol travels, it has mean a uh, distance of 170 miles and standard deviation it's what 16 miles okay fine okay so part a is asking here to find the probability that on a randomly selected journey the motorbike could travel at least 190 miles on a full tank of petrol okay so this is basically what following normal distribution right so we need to find out the probability using what probability of a normally distributed event right okay so for part a at first consider the distribution it is what normally distributed so the distance m right the distance m miles so m it is what distributed normally what's the mean given there 170 170 and the standard deviation is 16 so 16 squared is the variance okay so uh, at least 190 miles right so probability of m greater than or equal because at least isn't it at least means what at least means one m greater than or equal 190 okay so for finding probability using what a uh, normal distribution what we need to do we need to standardize the data isn't it so so that we can Compare it with the given table in the formula booklet. Okay, so the the given table in the formula booklet it is for what? It is for the standard values of that. Okay, it is for standard values of data, right? So we need to standardize the data first uh, before comparing it with so that we can compare the probabilities with the given table. Okay, so probability of z greater than or equal what 190 minus 170 divide what 16 okay so what would be the value uh, probability of z greater than or equal 190 minus 170 over 16 this is basically 1 point what 25 okay so if you check out the normal distribution table that is given in the formula booklet okay so it is showing probability of z le uh, less than or equal z it is giving us the what cumulative probability probability right so uh, less than or equal z so but but what we need we need probability of z greater than or equal 1.25 right so that means in order to use the probabilities from this table okay we need to convert it in the form of z less than or equal z so how can you do that if you subtract one if you subtract probability of z less than or equal probability of what uh, z less than or equal 1.25 from one you will get the greater than part okay so uh, Z less than or equal one one point two five. That is what that is basically zero point what eight nine four four zero point eight nine what four four. Okay, we got the probability. So what we can write here, we need to convert it in the form of less than or equal, right? So that we can use the probability values from the table. That is zero point eight nine four four. So we have to write it as one minus probability of z less than or equal what 1.25 okay so 
what we can do 1 minus 0 0.8944 okay so you will get the value which is what 1 minus 0 0.8944 which will give you 0 0.1056 which can be written as to three significant figures 0 0.106 it is up to three significant figures okay before finishing for just a short time I would like to I would like to show you using uh, the what bell curve because most of the students they feel difficult to figure it out using bell curve or to understand the bell curve okay so we we want to find out the probability of Z greater than or equal 1.25 right so in that case in that case this is basically the mean the median isn't it this is the median okay so 1.25 is what it's it's it the median is at the zero right this is mean median mode everything because normal distribute normal distribution is used for symmetrical distributions right so 1.25 will be here okay so we need probability of z greater than or equal 1.25 this is which part this is basically the part above okay so this is basically this part we want to have right so that's why the total area under the bell curve is what one so that's why if you subtract the area that is less than what 1.25 this is basically the probability of z less than or equal what 1.25 okay so if you subtract the green marked area from one you will get the yellow marked part that's what we exactly did right so the area under the bell curve it shows the probability so the green marked part has probability 0 0.8944 so as we subtract it from one we got the probability of the yellow marked part which has been asked in part a and that's what we got the answer for part a fine okay next is part b in part b uh, the question says the probability that on a randomly selected journey the motorbike could travel at least d miles on a full tank of petrol is what 0 0.9 okay fine so part b is asking to find the value of what d okay so just figure it out the probability of m the distance right uh, m greater than or equal d okay for part b the probability of m what uh, it's greater than m greater than or equal d it is given as what 0 0.9 okay so we will just standardize it okay so that we can compare compare it with the standard uh, data right so it will be now z greater than or equal d minus what d minus the mean which is 170 170 over the st the standard deviation is what 60 this is equals to 0 0.9 okay okay so the table the data the normal distribution table that is given in the formula booklet it's for what it's for less than what i said earlier it's for less than but we got here it is what greater than or equal so if you represent it in the form of less than what we can write one minus probability of z less than or equal d minus 170 over 16 this is equals to what equals to 0 0.9 okay just use the bell curve concept from the bell curve look okay should be solid line okay just have a look on the bell curve so the bell curve goes like this right and at the middle this is the what median okay so this is zero okay this is basically zero the mean 
right so z greater than or equal d minus 170 over 16 this is 0 0.9 that means it will be larger area since it's larger area this would be basically where it would be here okay because above it there should be larger area that is 0 0.9 right above that that larger area is what 0 0.9 isn't it so this larger area is what uh, 0 0.9 okay and so less than that this is basically what d this is what d okay so this is d okay so less than d there is probability of z less than or equal d minus 170 over what 16 that would be what take this to the right side and 0 0.9 to the left it would be what 0 0.1 so 0 0.1 is which part this part is basically 0 0.1 understand so this part you can see it lies in the negative right negative uh, what uh, value negative axis from the mu equals to zero from the mean right so if you check out the normal distribution table there are no possible values for the negative ones right so what we can do we can use the concept of symmetry how it works look the area of the part below d is the area of the part that is above the positive of d basically this is negative d and this is basically positive d okay so that area would be how much the area under that uh, positive positive d the area under that positive d it would be what it would be basically this part this part so this part would be what this part would have an area of how much if this part is 0 0.1 then this part is also 0 0.1 right so total area under the bell curve is what 1 so 1 minus 0 0.1 is what 0 0.9 okay that means what we can write here we can write here that so probability of z less than or equal what uh, negative we will multiply by negative so so that the value of d becomes positive now because d was initially negative right but in order to make it comparable with the normal distribution table with the probabilities given in the normal distribution table we are multiplying it with what negative 1 okay so instead of d minus 170 it will be now what 170 minus d over 16 okay this is equals to what this will be equal to 0. Point less than right so 0. 0.9 it will be 0. Point what 9 okay so use the dist uh, uh, normal distribution table from there what you can write 170 minus d over 16 this is equals to how much let's have a look on the normal distribution table 0 0.9 right okay let's check it out from here this one on the next page you can see it is it is showing probability of z greater than or equal what d let's say okay so this is the values of z and this is the values for the probability so probability we have 0 0.1 here you go 0 0.1 right the larger area is 0 0.1 so it corresponds to 1.2816 because why we, I'm considering the, the top area, this area is what? 0 0.1. And the lower area is 0 0.9. Okay, so this is 1 point. The standard value for positive of D, this is positive D, it's what? 1.2816. 1.2816. 1 okay, so this would be what? 1.28. six okay now just make d the subject to get the value so 1.2816 times 16 and then 170 minus the answer that would give you 
149.4944 okay so we can round d to three significant figures as what uh, 149 exactly 149 that's it and that's the answer for part b of question number four fine